Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Awesome. Just wanted to make sure this is working. Computer science can save the lives of young men of color. To some, this might be a hard concept to understand. But what I mean by computer science is coding and computer programming. In this picture over here, you might be thinking, or some of you may be thinking, is this a third world country? Or where is this place at? I was just talking last week to a friend who I've known for a, quite a while, and I told her, have you ever been to South Central Los Angeles? And she said, no, I've never been to South Central Los Angeles. And she's always lived in Los Angeles. This is South Central Los Angeles in the 90s, after the riots. You did see soldiers like this in the streets, protecting the streets. They had a rundown buildings, fires everywhere, liquor stores, homeless problems, and a high poverty rate. This is what South Central looked like. South Central today has not, much, has not changed much, maybe except for the fires and the rundown buildings, just a little bit, unless you count the Figueroa Corridor, which is changing a lot nowadays. However, this is what's happening today. For me, being in this environment, I've always said that I was lucky. I was one of the lucky ones to get out of Watts and to get out of South Central and become successful. But it was thankfully to this man, Mr. Wonders, a man that took me from a detention room into a college room. How did he do it? I would say that he was the most innovative man that there was during the time in the inner city. He was using a very creative tool, lacrosse, a tool that nobody was using during that time, a sport that nobody was playing in LA. And he said, if we put this tool in your hands, you can go and do amazing things. Go to college, get a degree, and change the world as well. He taught me resilience, how to overcome obstacles through lacrosse. He taught me also passion to be able to love something, something new that I've never done before. However, in my case, I was not, I was lucky, but not as lucky as my friend Joe. Joe, same time going to high school with me, ended up in jail to this day. Lifetimer has been in jail, jail for almost 20 years and still there. That's the case for a lot of young men of color until this point, until today. 55% of them will drop out of high school in South LA or in the inner cities. About 85% of them will end up, either end up unemployed or incarcerated. 70% of blacks in my community are getting suspended from schools and those are most likely gonna end up arrested. This is still the reality. In the inner city, the young men have two choices. Either you become a victim to the streets or you hustle to survive. And sometimes that means, do I gotta choose between going to a four-year university or taking care of my little brothers and sisters because my dad was just put in jail? However, I believe computer science can be the change, can be something that can give them hope for the future can be the way that they can learn how to master a skill that can put them ahead of the game in this environment. This is 1.4 million jobs that are gonna be given in the fusion and technology industry. Right now, the technology industry only has 4% of them being blacks and 5% of them being Latinos. That is the reality that we have. Computer science can be the source that can improve and increase the wealth of blacks and Latinos in the inner city and they can change the world with computer science. I am tired of hearing people say that the only way out of the neighborhood to become successful is by giving a kid in the inner city a basketball, a football, or a soccer ball. That is not no longer the case. We are in the 21st century, so we need to be able to change that. We deal with things exploring technology, TXT, where we teach them how to become technology entrepreneurs. As you can see here, they've developed websites and apps, mobile apps for small business owners. This is Michael and this is um, Michael and Jose. They've been able to develop this for small business owners. They took an entrepreneur who didn't have a chance to have a website and they coded for them and be able to put it online. And now this man 
has a small business that is online for himself and can use it on a mobile site. Our results are beautiful. I have Jesus up here. Jesus has gone through our program. He's been there two years, and now he's able to go to Syracuse um, and become a technology and information system um, individual. Not only have we gotten students to Syracuse, we got kids who are being engineers at Stanford, at USC, UCLA, and UC San Diego in Cal Poly Pomona. 100% of them go into four-year schools, and 70% of them are going into information technology services. Resilience, passion. <laughs> Resilience and passion and innovation is what we're teaching. And this is Xavier. Xavier is one of those kids who are doing a difference with technology. And now he's over here to tell you himself for a few minutes. I'm going to call Xavier here for one minute just so he can tell you himself his own personal story. Hello, my name is Xavier, and I am a project manager slash product manager. Computer science has changed my life in academics. I used to think that I should slack off and do things the day of so I could have more time to play with my friends and video games. With computer science, it made me do things in advance and faster so I could have more time to code and focus on the product, on our product. Right here is our product, it's SAT Fighters. It's more convenient way to study for the SATs through an interactive game. <laughs> the key aspect right there is the dictionary. The dictionary is filled with words from the SATs that most times no one has ever seen before. And then when you get in the game, you're going head-to-head -head combat with an AI using the words based off the hint. This has helped me in life to where now I feel that with computer science, I can change the world no way I could before with my passion and love for technology. And thank you for your time. You can, you can, you can download you can download his app starting Monday from the Android app, so go ahead and do that. I know that we're running out of time. I really can't see the sign up there, but I'm just gonna say here, um, in South LA, it's probably one out of 30 schools that are computer science. Only 90%, actually 90% of schools throughout the United States are not teaching computer science at this point. It's a chance that we have to make a difference and give those young men a chance to do something bigger for themselves and change the world through technology. I want to say to you guys, let's build more confidence on the young men of color, on blacks and Latinos in the inner city. Technology is for everybody, but this is a chance in the 21st century that we have so they can change the world as well and that they can go ahead and build a wealth for themselves, build a new community for themselves and build a future for themselves, a new family for themselves, um, and then give back to their community, right, and change those problems that many of them, many people have been thinking, how do we solve those problems in inner cities? Well, Let's put technology and computer science in the, in the men in the, uh, um, in the cities like blacks and Latinos and let them help us in this nation how to change those problems with computer science. Thank you very much. I think that's the time I have. Um, appreciate your time.